Ah, uh, you're Mr. Squires, yes? I'm looking for a rig for Sunday if you could accommodate me. Then you ought to be the man in charge of Highland Rigs. Who is late as usual? Greg? Marcellus! Why, Greg? Are you old son of a gun? Professor Hill's the name. Harold Hill. But, 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 Greg, why didn't you let me know you were What are you doing here? I didn't know I was myself. Besides, how did I know you end up in a little tank town like this? You were a pretty big slicker back when you were in business with me. Ah, too many color shaves the way you work. Besides, I got me a nice, comfortable girl, Ethel Toffelmeyer. Boss's niece. Gone legitimate, huh? I knew you'd come to no good. All right, well, what's the new pitch? Oh, you're not back in the band business, are you? Last I heard you were in steam automobiles. I was. Well, then what happened? Somebody actually invented one. No! So give me the load out here, Marks. All right. Well, you'll never get anywhere with these stubborn eyelids, Greg. Besides, you got a stuck-up music teacher who will expose you before you get your grip unpacked. Male or female? The music teacher? She's the librarian. Female. Perfect. That's just what I wanted to hear. When she walks by, you point her out to me. I will. Now, how are you going to start the pitch? Same old way. You just keep that music teacher off balance. And then I'll have to get your town out of the serious trouble that it's in. But, uh, Greg, River City isn't in any trouble. Then I'll have to create some. I have to create a desperate need for a boys' band. You remember. Now, what's new here? What can I use? Well, nothing. Um, say the billiard parlor. Just put in a pool table. Your town never had a pool table here before? No, only billiards. <laughs> That'll do. See you later, Marsh. And remember, music teacher. Music teacher. You're Mr. Dunlop, yes? Yep. You're either closing your eyes to a situation you do not wish to acknowledge, or you are not aware of the caliber of disaster indicated by the presence of a pool table in your community. Well, you got trouble, my friend. Right here, I say trouble right here in River City. Why, sure, I'm a beer player, surely mine. And proud to say, I'm always mighty proud to say. I consider the hours I spend with a cue in my hand are gold. Help me call of eight poor cents with a cool head and a keen eye. You ever take a try to give an ironclad beef to yourself from a three rail bear shot? But just as I say, it takes judgment, brains of maturity to score a ball blind game, and I say to the boob, can take and shove a ball and ain't pop. And I call that slop the first big step on the road to the depths of degradation. I say first it's a little medicinal wine from a teaspoon, then beer from a bottle. And the next thing you know, your son is money in a pinchback suit. And listen to some big out of town jazz. You're still about horse race game. Not a wholesome trot race, no, but a race where they sit down and rail on the horse. Like to see some stuck up jockey boy sitting on Dan Patch, make a blood boil? Well, I should say. Well, friends, let me tell you what I mean. You have one, two, three. Five, six, pockets in a table. Pockets to mark the difference between a gentleman and a bum with a capital B and that rhymes with P and that stands for food. And all week long, your river should use a beef fritter in a way. Say, your young men will be frittering. Frittering away their new supper time, four time. Put the ball in the pocket. Never mind getting Dan Lines pulled with a screen door packed to the beef steak pound. Never mind pump, but any water to your parents are caught with a sister or nephew on a Saturday night. That's trouble. Oh, yes, you have lots and lots of trouble. I'm thinking of the kids in the nicker, but for sure, kill young ones. He gets the pool all the way to We got trouble, folks. Right here in River City. Trouble with a capital T, and that rhymes with P, and that stands for pool. Now, I know all you folks are the right kind of parents. I'm going to be perfectly frank. Would you like to know what kind of conversation goes on for the loafing around that hall? They were trying out Bebo, trying out Cubex, trying out Taylor made like cigarette fees, and bragging and all about how they're going to cook. Tell breath with Sam Sam one fine night. They leave the pool hall, head up to the dance lobby, libertine men and scarlet women, and a ragtime shameless music that'll drag your son, your daughter, to the arms of a jungle animal and say, Master, the idle brain is the devil's playground. Trouble, oh, we got trouble right here in River City. Mothers of River City, heed that warning before it's too late. 
watch the downtown signs of corruption. The minute your son leaves the house, does he re buckle his knickerbockers below the knee? Is there a nicotine stain on his index finger? A dime novel painted in the corn crib? Is he starting to memorize jokes at a captain police was back? Are certain words creepy in this conversation? Words like, like swear! Oh! Oh!